Hi everyone, I'm Brian Demers, and today I'm gonna to show you how to build a secure Spring Boot application with Okta in less than five minutes. Let's get started. One of the most common ways to create a new Spring Boot project is to go to start.spring.io. You can select from a variety of options, your project type, Maven or Gradle, your language, Java, Kotlin, or Groovy. You can also select your dependencies. So today we're gonna to build a simple web application. So we'll select web for Spring Web, and I will type Okta, and select Okta. And then we could hit this green generate button. However, we're gonna to go to the command line and I'm gonna show you how this is even easier. Many people don't know that you can actually query the start.spring.io API right from the command line. So I can, I'm gonna use HTTP pi and go to start.spring.io. Then I'll get a simple description here. And you can pipe this through less if you wanna read it all. So these are the, the parameters, the descriptions, their values. Um, you could also use curl and do the same thing, of course. And it'll give you context sensitive help which will show how to do these commands with curl. I'm gonna go back here, start.spring.io, and I'm gonna go starter.tgz, and then I'm gonna have dependencies, if I can spell it correctly, equals web, comma, octa, and then I'm gonna give this a base directory name of let's say example, example demo. Oh, and of course I need to pipe this to tar. So we'll do tar, um, extract zip verbose file, and then we'll use the input stream here to enter, and this will create my new directory. So then we can just jump in here Example demo. So this project doesn't really have a lot going on. You can see it's one class here. It doesn't really do anything. So now we have an application. We need two more things. We need some REST endpoints or some sort of endpoint to make it a web app. And we need to make it secure. So we need some sort of IDP. And I'm gonna use Okta. Okta is going to handle all of the, the OAuth complexities for you. And you can register, create an account, set up your local application all with one command. We have a Maven plugin that you can use. So if you just type MVN, com to Okta, Okta Maven plugin, set up. This will take care of everything for you. Oops. Maven W. Here you go, so it's gonna prompt me for my first name. If I can spell it right, Brian Demers, email address, octa.com, and my company is Octa. So this will go ahead and send me an email with a new account, but it's also going ahead and create a new OIDC application in Octa, as well as configure everything for my local machine here. So I can see the new file that was created. If I go to source main resources and my application.properties. And of course this would work with an application.yaml as well. And here we go. So you can see my new OAuth details. And of course you shouldn't keep secrets in your files. And of course after this I'll have to go uh, delete this secret so nobody has it. So those are the hard parts. So now let's just create a simple REST endpoint. So I'm gonna open up my favorite IDE. So I can drill down into my project. I can view that simple main class. And to keep things simple, I'm gonna add a REST controller directly in here. So if I do REST controller and static class, simple controller. And then I'm gonna add a simple single get mapping 
and I'm going to call it welcome, and it's going to return a string. I'm going to return hello. But we want to do a little more than that, right? We want to add some sort of user identification so we can prove that we're logged in. So we can do principal, and then I can do principal.getName. Now that's all I need to do. I can start my app right now and everything will work. I'm gonna head over to localhost. And now I can log in with the email address that I've used when I registered. And then I'll get redirected back to my application localhost 8080. So the first time you register, whether using our Maven plugin or through a registration form, you'll get an email and you'll set up your account for the first time and then you'll be able to log in just like this. Um, so you'll see here, I'm saying hello to some almost random string. Um, so this is my, user, uh, my user's unique ID, but that's not very pretty. It's great for maybe a primary key in a database, but not for me to look at. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to my name. So let's jump back into our IDE. And I'm gonna change this to an OIDC user. And I also need to use the annotation authenticated principal. Otherwise it won't work. And now I can change this to get full name or any of these other attributes that you like. So I can get my family name, which is my last name, my email, a bunch of other uh, attributes. So let's just do hello and then name. So if I restart my application, this will take no time at all. And then I can bounce back into my browser. And you'll see I'm already logged in because I've logged in already. And here we go. Hello, Brian Demers. So in this video, I've done a few things. I've created a new Spring Boot application. I've registered for a new Okta account. I've created an Okta OIDC application, and then I've configured uh, my application up properties file to use those configuration values. And I've added a REST controller and added some security information into the REST controller to prove that the user is indeed logged in. If you wanna see more, you can go to the project's GitHub page so Okta developer slash Okta Maven plugin. And you can see all the steps that I performed today. You can cut and paste right from here. That's it for this video. Be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button below. We have videos coming out weekly and you don't want to miss the next one. Thank you.